Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to capture people's address information inside of Active Campaign. It was a question I received, so I figured I'd shoot a video in case anybody else had this question. So here we are in our Active Campaign account, and what you wanna do is come over to lists here, and then you wanna go ahead and click on the Manage Fields option up here. So now what we got to do is add some custom fields to our active campaign account. Now the first thing we want to probably do is go ahead and add a group real quick. Just helps keep things organized. So we'll do add group and we'll say like shipping address. So shipping address. And then maybe we'll add another group called like billing address. Billing, billing address and create. So now we have two different groups and now we just add the custom fields to these various groups. So come up in here to add field and we can say like street address one, right? Because usually street addresses have two, two different lines. Uh, we can go ahead and select our group then. So we'll do our shipping address first and field type. We do text input, text area, date, date time, drop down, list, box, radio button, checkbox, hidden field. So a bunch of different options here. We'll just go text input for this time being and hit add. And then we can come up here and do another add field. And I'm not gonna do every single one because we'd be here for a while. And I think after I do it you know, three times, you'll understand the concept. So we do street address two, and we throw that under shipping address and add. And then we might do add field and we would do state and add to our shipping address, add. And then we might do city and shipping address, add. And then we would go ahead and do zip code. So zip code and add it to shipping and go ahead and hit add now. And so we've added our custom fields here and the same concept of course would apply for billing address. So you just create custom fields and put them in the billing address group. Now let's go ahead and create a form. So we'll come over here to site real quick and we wanna go over to forms real quick and then we can go ahead and create a form and we'll just say address example. And then we go ahead and you know do our actions and all that stuff. So subscribe to list and go ahead and hit create real quick. And now we're using the Active Campaign form builder. You see that we have our fields here, so we could go ahead and throw in our street address and our street address number two. And you know, it's just a drag and drop builder, so pretty simple self-explanatory stuff. Of course, if you're using some sort of integration like Zapier, you could go ahead and zap this address information now into Active Campaign, and you would just map your your other form software uh, through Zapier, and you'd connect it to these new custom fields that you created in Active Campaign. So that's how you could go ahead and use Zapier or other third-party tools to still send over that address information into Active Campaign. The concept is you create the custom fields an active campaign and then they're available to be used elsewhere like with Zapier. So that, that's how that would work. We'll throw in city now, zip code, and then you can go ahead and hit integrate. And just like that, you've created a, a form that can capture individuals shipping information in this example here. Also, I want to point out that you can go ahead and use the shipping information in your emails that you send out. So let's show you that real quick. So campaigns over here. And we'll just go ahead and create our first campaign and address info and next. And I know I'm going really fast through this little bit here uh, just to show you how you could go ahead and use the, the information. And I'm just gonna go ahead and build from scratch real quick and we'll do a newsletter and okay and test and continue. And so here we are in the email builder. So if I come in here and I click on personalize here, we can see under the contacts information, we have our custom fields. So we have street address, street address two, state, city, zip code, etc. So you could go ahead and set up your email to include the personalized data that is connected to individual's account, right? So you can go ahead and use that information to customize the emails if you know that's relevant or helpful to you. Like maybe you're sending out a order confirmation or something like that and you wanna include this information in your email. Uh, this is how you can go ahead and accomplish that goal by using these personalization merge tags just like you see right here. And of course you go ahead and save and send your email or whatever you're trying to do in terms of you know configuring your automations and all that type of stuff. 
And real quick, I should have pointed this out as well. If you go into somebody's profile, you'll see that you have your custom fields as well. So we have the shipping address group and then we have the custom fields here and then we have the billing address group. And then if I had custom fields in that group, we would see those options here. So you could click into their profile. You could also edit it straight here in their profile as well. So I just wanted to point that out to you real quick. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.